Millions of moviegoers around the world have propelled Barbie to a billion-dollar box office bonanza. Among those who watched the movie this weekend, Justin Trudeau and his teenage son. As Ben Milger reports, a photo of the outing posted on social media by the Prime Minister has proven to be quite polarizing. In just the third weekend since its release, Barbie has set a new record for revenue on a film with a female director, eclipsing $1 billion worldwide. Are you excited to go see this movie? Yes, it's my second time. Oh, really? What did you think about it the first time? Really good. In keeping with Barbie fashion trends, many people choose to wear pink when going to see the movie. Surround yourself with love. Surround yourself I don't, with love. That's really I don't, nice. And you wore pink because it's Barbie. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Justin Trudeau even got in on the act, posting this picture of him and his teenage son sporting pink shirts with a caption that says, We're Team Barbie. The box office smash has struck a chord with audiences not only for its nostalgia and entertainment value, but also for its underlying message. <laughs> What's going on? Why are these men looking at me? The sort of overarching theme is like finding out who you are. There's a lot about patriarchy, about what Barbie means, what she meant before, what she means now. Trudeau's tweet generated polarizing opinions, with some saying it was a wholesome father-son outing, while it made others angry, even drawing out misogynistic and homophobic comments. Upon seeing the photo, British journalist Piers Morgan tweeted to his 8 million followers, so glad I'm not Canadian. As someone from the UK, I'll tell you, Piers Morgan, you shouldn't listen to a word he says. If your Prime Minister wants to go see a, a film with a pink t-shirt with his son, anyone has a problem with that is an idiot. For his part, Trudeau hasn't fired back at the critics as people continue to flock to theatres in record numbers. A man and his son yeah. could learn a lot too. Because men need to know about patriarchy as well, so, yeah. It's quite possible the Prime Minister started this discussion on purpose. Ben Milger, CTV News, Vancouver.